Hey guys, Allie here. So today I'm gonna be talking about Black Friday, which I'm not sure if you guys all are interested in or not. I'm just pretty much, you know, all talking about how it is as a manager, um, and then kind of ranting about customers. Just a little bit, just a little bit, because it's not that bad, but some people. So pretty much, this never happens. But I had Thanksgiving off and I didn't have to work that night shift of Thursday night going into Friday morning, um, which was really weird, but it kind of made sense. The way that it happens is that someone needs to close the store on Black Friday, so that person was me, and um, that means that I didn't have to come in until 11 a.m. and then I got off at midnight. That meant is that I got to have Thanksgiving, which was fantastic because I didn't think I was going to have holiday this year uh, for Thanksgiving at all, um, so I got to see my best friend and th Thanksgiving dinner with her, and it was really cool um, just being able to relax that entire Thursday, being able to actually stay out for a little bit at least and then going home and sleeping and stuff like that. Um, it was a 12 hour shift that I was working and that 12 hour shift wasn't that bad. Um, a lot of the other managers, they were like there since, uh, you know, 5 p.m. the day before and they were working till, you know, one the next day or like they were there at like 6 a.m. and they worked till one the next day. And it was just like, it was like crazy. Like I'm really happy I didn't have that shift because all of us did work 12 hour shifts and then my store manager also worked a six hour shift on top of that. When I got in, it wasn't like too bad. Like, you know, I was pretty much well rested. I did go out the night before with my best friend, so um, I, I only got so much sleep. Uh, but um, I went in at 11 and the store was like, it was still pretty chaotic. Like, you know, there was a lot of people in line still because we had the 50% off the entire store um, up until noon that day. And I got an 11, so there was still an hour left if I wanted to get anything or like associates wanted to get anything, anything like that. Now the crazy part with this 50% off that was really annoying. Um, it excluded gift cards, fragrances, and our must-haves. And a lot of people didn't like that, which I completely understand because it is very misleading, but it does say at the bottom in print, excludes fragrances, jeans, gift cards, and you, you know, stuff like that. So, um, the jeans were 50% off, but at one point they did go to 25 and it's not like there's additional, you know, percentage off the 25, which I'll get into in a second. A lot of people had lots and lots and lots of irritations with um, the must-haves not being 50% off. And I completely understand because it says entire store and it's like, but you're not including these specific items. And the reason that we do that is because if we take 50% off of our must-haves, it means that like a shirt for the guys is gonna ring up as five bucks versus like 10. And then for the girls, it's gonna ring up as like eight or like 750 versus it being $14. So it, it was a little difficult that way because it's like, it's already so well priced already that if you take 50% off of that, like the company's losing money and it's our like, brand senses and everything. So I understand as like a manager, but I understand as a customer, like, hey, if I saw that, I'd be really confused too. Um, because everything that's like $5 or like $7.50 or something like that, that's like clearance, like second hits, like, you know, that's the lowest it's gonna go, clearance. And they're really nice shirts. And I mean, getting them for like a really good deal, like $12, $14 is like really good already. Cause normally something like that would be like 20 in our store. Um, so like I understood and everything, but a lot of people were a little frustrated with it and um, we tried to like, you know, highlight, you know, excludes her entire store promotion as much as we could. Um, it wasn't like it was like completely blank and then I like, get to the register and you're like, oh my god, it's not included. Like, um, we tried to label it as well as we can. We used all the marketing and that, you know, the company gave us. So as bad as it is, it's like, you know, I, I do agree that it was like really, really confusing and all this, but it was just, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh yeah, I'm going to overwrite it for you because I disagree with the company. Like, no, I'm going to get fired for that. So that was, that was a little difficult at first. Um, that kind of happened like all day though. And a lot of people were understanding because we said, you know, it's already 10 bucks, 12, something like that. You know, if we take 50% off of that, it goes you know, towards a lower price where it's not even on clearance. So you're already getting a great deal for it. Um, and then if people still complain about it, we're just kind of like, the marketing says so, and I'm sorry, that's what the company says. I did have one person, they came up and they had like 20 must-have shirts from the guy side, and they were thinking they were each five bucks, and I'm just like, look, I'm really sorry. I really do understand. I understand why you're upset. I understand 
why it's confusing but it says on the signs it says on the marketing and I really really do apologize and he was just like so mad at me and he was like the sign says entire 40% off the store and I'm like I know uh, yes I know he's like these really big signs but yes I know I put them there and he said it doesn't say on there it doesn't exclude these things. I was like well it actually does like it says in tiny right it's not tiny like it's like that big writing on the side which is small for like the big side but I mean if you actually read it there's like an asterisk and the asterisk says like all these things it excludes oh my god it was like like I understood but at the same time I was like I'm really sorry like I can't price override 20 shirts for you because I'm gonna get fired he just got like really upset and he's like fine I don't want any of it and I'm like that's totally fine if you want five dollar t-shirts go to H&M or go to Forever 21 or Walmart and it's uh, I was like no I'm, I'm done I'm sorry <laughs> that was a little irritating at first um just because like he I don't know he just like talked to me like I was going to change it for him and like I was stupid and I was like no I completely agree but regardless like in my job description I cannot do that so I was like sorry if you want to spend that much like money on a shirt that little I should say that little money on a shirt just just go to Walmart you probably shouldn't be shopping on Hollister Black Friday because there's great deals on everything else and I'm sorry we do exclude these things and there's nothing I can do for you so sorry okay bye that was one customer it was a little bit chaotic um, through the middle of the day which was a little bit irritating because I just got there and you know um, the registers had to be cleaned out of like all the cash that was like building up and everything and um, I had to change marketing and then I had to bring up associates too so it was a little crazy so I started bringing up associates I rung up myself and I got myself a few like little things um, and I was already irritated because I had a pair of PJ pants for my sister and I was really excited to buy them for 50% off and then someone put all my items back. So someone put it back and then I went on the floor to try to find the polar bear shorts and they were gone and there's none online. So um, I was highly, highly upset about that. I have no idea who put the stuff back, it's probably our lost furniture guy or I I just, I just, I really don't know. Um, and it was just a little, a little hectic at first, so. So I rung my stuff up, which was like totally easy, no mistake there or anything, just besides the PJ pants. Um, and then I started ringing up associates because they wanted to get the 50% off as well. And then it was 11.45, which is when we're supposed to change marketing. Noon, it went from 50% off the entire store to 40% off, which is still a pretty good deal. If you're getting something like super expensive, or you're spending 500 bucks, you want that extra 10%, but 40% um, off is still like a really, really good deal, I think. We were supposed to change it at 11.45, which um, the company made it super easy. All you had to do was just like flip around the marketing sign. So um, I was still bringing up associates and there was another store manager there. So, um, but that, or MIT was there, which I think she's an assistant manager. Another manager was there to help me out. <laughs> I called her and I was like, hey, can you start flipping around marketing? I'm still bringing up associates. And she's like, yeah, sure. And so, um, she was flipping around all the signs and she grabbed two other um, associates with her, it was our stock guys, and they were flipping around the signs too. And so then people like kind of started freaking out who was in line. Um, they were just like, are we still going to get the 50% off? And I was like, yeah, you're totally fine, you know, um, I can override it if I need to, um, but you will still get your 50% off. It, it starts at noon, so um, you still have another 15 minutes and you're in line, so you're fine. Don't worry about it. If you need help with anything, my name's Allie, like, you know, I'll totally fix it for you. So a lot of people were cool with that. Um, and then what happened at noon <laughs> is that the system didn't, like, click to, like, change it for a second to 40% off or 50. I don't know. It, like froze and like everything was ringing up full price and everyone's like Allie Allie what's going on and I'm like oh my god I don't know and I was like okay we're gonna restart the register by just like you know canceling out the transaction and starting it and so I did that and that fixed it I don't know how but <laughs> I was like really dead. I was like oh my god I can't like sit here and price override like 20 different items for a person um so that was like a little nerve-wracking but um everything went okay and um, I just like reset every register for each transaction and um, it's, still, it's just canceling out of it and then uh, opening the register mo module again. And so it clicked that way, which was like really, really awesome. It was totally fine. Um, it was just like, a little scary moment there, just for a hot second. All the marketing was flipped. I think we were taking down the really, really big banners and um, making sure they said 40% off and any everything like that. And I had the guys, you know, go around and check everything if we missed anything. And I went around myself. Um, and there was a few signs that we missed, and that was not good. 
One of them was in clearance on the guy side, and then another one was in the front of the store. Now the one that was in the back of the store, I kind of said, you know, I really do apologize. This is one sign that we did forget. There was like a pile of clothes like hanging on the sign. So like none of us could have seen it, and then like someone like decided to like move all these clothes, and then they're just like, oh my god, it's 50% off. And so then they asked like, hey, is it 50% off? And I was like, I don't think so. And so I had someone check, and the clearance was ringing up, but it's 50 or 40% off. So since it's, it's 40 and not 50, I just like told them, I was like, just let them know that it is 40. There's a whole bunch of clothes on it, I do apologize, and if they make a fuss out of it, then just to let me know. But they were totally fine with it, which was great. Um, they totally understood, because 40% off of clearance is still a really good deal, because the guy's clearance never really goes on sale, like the girl's stuff. Um, and the girl's stuff was additional 50% off clearance all day. Uh, so then there is the front porch marketing, which was not very good. So by this point, it's like, 12.30, 12.45, and the 50% off is still going on the registers. I think it stops at like, you know, 12.45 or 12.50 or something like that. And so, just had to cancel all the transactions, start it again, and totally worked great um, with the 40% off. And a lot of people, like, you know, they were already in line for a while, and if anyone, like, complained about it, um, I had a code to where it would just switch them all for me, um, but that was only, like, emergency, like, you know, this customer is very upset and very unhappy. Uh, they were in the store shopping for like two hours or something, they're buying a whole bunch of stuff, you know, that kind of thing. I was doing midday pickup at the register, which is pretty much cleaning it out of like all the money and keeping it safe. And keeping it safe in our safe. Okay. <laughs> I was like calling it a different word. Um, and so I was doing that. It was really, really like scary because like I didn't, I've never done it before. And I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is a lot of money. And I was like, okay. And so like I put it all in deposit back and then I go in the back and I count it all and then I have an associate verify for it. And so we're doing that and I'm like learning and I'm like kind of going slow because I'm like, I don't want to screw this up. And then one of my associates comes in the back and she's like, hey, a customer needs to speak to you with you. And I'm just like, Oh lord, and I'm like, I have how much money in my hands right now? And I'm just like, what What do they want? I was like, is it an easy question? Is it a difficult question that they're kind of complaining about right now? And I was like, can you just go ask her what she wants? And she said, she said, she said okay. And so she goes back on the floor and tells her. And then she comes back and she's like, she needs to speak with you. And I was like, okay. And so I had all the money in the deposit bag and I had it in my hand and I was like, Okay, hi ma'am, what, 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 what's going on here, you know, what, what do you need to speak with ma'am? She's like, first off, you do not say to a customer, what do you want? And I was like, ah, uh, that's not, that's not what I meant, but okay. And she's just like, I work in customer service and all this, and that is not acceptable to a customer. And I'm just like, I didn't say it to you. I was like, mm -hmm, my... My Asian associate, Sue, who's super adorable and super short, she just said it that way because I said it that way and she misinterpreted it and then you misinterpreted it. And it was, just, it was just a bad situation. So she was already like really pissed at me that I was like, go ask her what she wants. And I was like, I, and then so I was like sitting there with my bag of money and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I was just trying to figure out if you had an easier hard question that, you know, one of my other associates could have answered for you or if it was a difficult one that I had to. She's like, it doesn't matter. Blah, 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 blah. You should come out here and talk to me yourself rather than say that. And I was like, I apologize, I have $10,000 in my registers right now that I am counting. I, I'm sorry, that's a lot of money. I'm trying to, I couldn't really leave, like you had to hold on a second, I, I apologize. While I'm holding this bag of money in my hand. <sighs> so she kind of talks about like that for a second and then she's like, alright, here's my issue. And I was like, okay. And she's like, there's a sign that says 50% off. And I was like, um, I changed all of that, but um, if you show me where it is, uh, we can definitely look at it. And so it was on the porch and it was on our frame marketing. It said entire store 50% off. Well, all the rest clearly said 40. And I feel like a good customer like me, um, if that, I've re worked retail before, I'm, I'd just be like, hey, just to let you guys know, you still have like a 50% off sign in the front. Like, I feel like if it was me and I saw that, I would just like mention it and be like, you know, we all make mistakes. We know how retail is, you missed something really quick. It's crazy, it's hectic, you know, that's totally fine. She's like, I want 50% off and I'm like, Okay, I really do apologize. That is my fault. I'll definitely change it for you. So as soon as she says that, flipped it to the other side where it said $25 jeans. So she's going around. She's like, okay, so everything's going to be 50% off. I was like, yes, yeah, so we do have some exclusions like with our must-haves. Those aren't going to be a part of it. 
Um, but yeah, you'll get the sweatpants because she was like, she's like, what about these sweatpants? I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be 50% off. So she was like asking, 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 asking like these sweaters and these sweatpants and these hoodies, and I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be 50% off. Then I was like, okay, just let me know if you need anything else, okay, ma'am? And she's like, okay. So she kept shopping. I go to the back and I start counting everything again, like where I left off. And I had to start all the way over because I, I didn't want to leave the money in like the back of the office so while other people were there. So I was just carrying around with me um, just so I knew it was like 100 completely safe for me. So I was counting again and um, I think I was finished counting by this point and I was moving on to a next register to clear that out. And she comes back and she's ringing up with my favorite associate Dylan who's one of our best brand reps and he's awesome at what he does and um, he comes up to me. Uh, while I'm in the back counting the second round of money and he's like, this lady needs to talk to you. And I was like, okay, uh, is it the same one? He's like, yes. And I was like, okay, what's, what's going on now? And he's like, she wants 50% off the $25 jeans. And I was like, you, okay, so you want these jeans for like $12.50. Hollister jeans that are originally $50 to $60. You want them for $12.50? And I was, and so I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. So obviously I didn't say that to her face, but I was like, who thinks that they're going to get 1250 jeans out of Hollister? I'm sorry. No. So we go to the front and I was like sitting there. I'm just like, hey ma'am, what can I help you out with? What's the confusion? What's going on? And she's like, well, we're supposed to get 50% off. So I'm supposed to get 50% off these $25 jeans. And I was like, no. I was like, the 50% off is off the full entire price, which means that the jeans you get for, well, $24.75. I can give you them for $24.75, but that's all I can do. She's like, no, I want 50% 50, 50 off of the $25 jeans. I was like, no, it was never marketed like that. I cannot do that for you. And she's like, well, I don't want any of this. And I was like, okay. And um, she was just like, I want your corporate number. And the mom's like, I already have the corporate number. And I was like, okay and she's like I'm gonna get your name and your name and we're gonna call corporate and tell them about all this and I was like okay do you want the number no I already have the number they didn't even get my name I was like <laughs> I was like I'm sorry but corporate's gonna say the exact same thing as me I'm not giving you a pair of 50 to 60 dollar jeans for 1250 25 dollar jeans is an amazing deal and if you didn't know you sign up for Club Cali get ten dollars off your 25 dollar purchase which means you can get your jeans for 15 bucks and they're normally full price like if you were smart and actually like use the coupons but still in the restrictions of what it excludes, you could get a really great deal. So that lady left, thank God. But um, that was just like pretty much like what the frick, like I was shaking, like I was so bad like by this customer like treating me how I was because like I know I look like a baby but guys, I'm, I'm an assistant manager. Like I know how to do my job and I know when to say no and I am awesome at my customer service, like not even kidding. So um, I, that was like frustrating, but I think the rest of the day like went okay. It was just the closing part and the folding down of the store, I kind of wanted to shoot myself. The only thing that started happening that was like pretty bad um, was that we were running out of merchandise. <laughs> this pretty much means that like we sold so many units and everything that we don't have any more units to like put out on the floor. <laughs> So we had like a whole bunch of like these hoodies that were $15 and like these pullover that's, uh, pullovers that were like $15, plenty of jeans, stuff like that. But it was just like the other stuff, like the sweaters and these dresses and these flannels and jackets. It's like, we don't have any more. And our clearance room was completely cleared out. Like it was pretty much empty and we didn't really have anything else to put out on the floor. So the best thing we could do was just like some filling and some subbing, which was like, it got a little bit easier and everything. So we did that and it was just like kind of weird how empty the store was. Like the back room was like echoing because we had no more stuff to put in that back room. It was all in like the first four rooms and um, my store is pretty big. So um, it was just like really weird. And um, so it was closer to close and then we were not to plan. Like we were sitting there and we're just like, we're $2,000 away from plan. And normally as like an associate or brand rep or stock associate, you're just kind of like whatever, it's business, like that's your job, not mine. But you know, the brand reps and stock associates doing their job great is what, you know, drives business too. And so we're sitting there, we're just like $2,000 away. And we want to make plans. Like, what do we do? <laughs> what we did is that we stayed over like for an hour longer and like me and one of the other associates were like standing out there. We're just like, Hey, just to let you know, our entire store is 40% off. Um, if you want to come in and get some last minute gifts. And finally, 
we beat plan. <laughs> so after being open an hour, we beat plan and I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, this is crazy. I can't believe we did this. So, um, Emily, my store manager, went home and I started closing up and everything. And the only hard part after that was counting that freaking deposit. All our registers were like so full of money. And I normally have to have one associate verify for me about like, how much money I'm counting if we get the same amount, I'm putting it in the bag, I'm not taking it home, putting it in our safe and everything um, for pickup whenever they pick up deposit and everything. I had to have two associates count for me because it was so much money that I was like, I we're not screwing this up. Like, you know, we got two different numbers, me and one associate, and I was like, okay, come over here. You're counting it, then I'm counting it, and then you're counting it and then we're gonna get all the same number. Now the closing part wasn't that difficult because we didn't have that much to fold down because a lot of it was already sold out. Um, so the folding down pretty much got done like while the hour we were open extra, um, which was great. And the only thing that left was like pretty much me um, <laughs> counting deposit. So that was pretty much it. I think we left at like 12, 15, 12, 30, which wasn't bad at all. And then I actually had the next day off, I think. It was an experience. The only thing was is that it's a lot more money, it's a lot more customers um, that just get angry with you. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that was the line thing, which I understand the line thing. And we actually had a survey and someone was like, when I went in and shopped, this lady told me to move and I was upset because I was standing there for so long and I was like, I was like, I let you stay there. And she's like, but obviously she was not happy about it. And I was like, obviously I wasn't. Cause like, you know, my brand reps are supposed to tell you guys which line to go in. And I was just like, and like it wasn't that big of a deal, but I was like trying to be a manager and be like, no, I'm just gonna go over here. But then I also am the person where I'm like, okay, I'll just let you stay here. So I let you stay there. I don't know why you're giving me a bad review. But all in all, I could say that as a manager, I survived Black Friday during the day. I, it could have been way worse at night because um, Alea, our new assistant manager, Oh my god, she worked from like fucking 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to 1 the next day. Still very stressful, but at least I could say that I did it and I survived! It was great and it was nerve wracking, but I got to go home and sleep. I can't remember if I drank or not. I can't remember what I did. That's pretty much it. Um, be sure to check out uh, my Black Friday video, what I actually bought. It wasn't that much, don't worry. Um, and then check out my previous videos about me becoming a Mr. MIT. I actually have my MIT binder, which is like really weird. I don't know if you guys want to see it. Ta-da! Manager in training. Manager in training program. I don't know if you guys actually care. Look how much work I had to do. Lordy. That's the, it for this video. Um, I'm sweating in this sweater, which is actually from Abercrombie, a thor coot, little turtleneck, um, and I'm actually wearing workout leggings. You would have never known, would you? Uh-uh. Okay, I'm getting weird now. You can go eat and go to yoga. I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye, guys.